Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I thought I would share some outdoor updates with you all. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we're gonna be sharing some outdoor updates with all of you. So since I'm by our chicken coop over here, uh, one of the first updates is that we got rid of our rooster. We gave it to my mother-in-law and useless has now become useful as in he became dinner. <laughs> uh, we really aren't supposed to have a rooster anyways and I didn't wanna to have to deal with fertilized eggs. So it was time for him to go. Aubrey got to say goodbye. I've even drawn like a picture or sketched out an image of him so that she could color him. So, you know, it's a sad time for Aubrey because she loved that rooster. She collected his feathers ever since he was little, whenever they like shed or whatever. She loves the rooster. And so it's been like hard on her, but like she understands like why I guess we had to get rid of it and, and whatever. So that is one of the major changes in our backyard. And another major change is actually to our clubhouse. So let's go ahead and walk up there. So as we're walking up, you can see that we've kind of started building a path. This was, you know, definitely needing to be like filled in, but we're just trying to make it a little bit flatter so that it's safer as we walk up to the clubhouse. Every time I cut the grass, I try to like, you know, fill it in here and then it rains and it packs it in a little bit more. So we're still working on it, but it's, you know, definitely a work in progress. It looks like our chickens dug around here too. So just fill that in. So one of the major changes is that Juan put like decking wood up here instead of having like our little foam mats, which were like disintegrating. So now we can just like dust it off. I asked him to put like a little step and a little rail so the kids can be a little bit safer. And overall, I'm just really pleased with it. I think it looks a lot better and it's definitely easier to clean. I will be trimming our grass after I'm done like filming some of these updates. So I'll give you guys like a little before and after here. Most of our grass is in its dormant stage. So unfortunately that is why it's so brown, but hopefully in like the spring and summer, it'll be much more green. And since Aubrey is like in love with birds right now, my mom actually bought us like a little bird feeder and it's really cute. But what's funny is the birds like don't really use it. Ugh. Okay, so I actually hung the bird feeder on the like side yard tree and it's this cute little like swing and we have like the bird seat in there and everything and it's just hilarious because I have yet to see a bird actually sit on it. They usually sit on the top of that pole and then I'm just like just go three feet down you get all the food. I'm thinking I might put worms in here to attract them but I just think it's the cutest little bird feeder. I just hope the birds want to use it at some point. One of the other losses, I guess, in our backyard has been our lemon. So if you've been here for a while, you may have noticed that we had like a really big lemon right down here. And obviously it isn't there anymore. There was one afternoon when I was doing yard work and like I come around the corner, like back around this way and Aubrey's holding the lemon. She's like, look, mommy. <laughs> And she had picked it off and I was like, no, like I kind of wanted to be the one to pick the first lemon. And in some ways I kind of did. I prematurely touched a baby lemon a long time ago and it just like fell off. So in some ways I did pick the first lemon off our tree, but she picked the first ripe one. I am hoping to make maybe like a small loaf of lemon bread or a small batch of lemon cookies with it. So, you know, just to make it memorable. But I'm hoping this tree does better. It's, it's lost a lot of leaves. It, we did fertilizer sticks and everything. So I'm hoping it doesn't like die. But anyways, that was, you know, one sad loss in, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's gone from our backyard, but hopefully it will be in our tummies soon. And the last change to our backyard is actually a new helmet for the kids to wear as they're riding around on like balance bikes or any of the motorized cars or anything like that. I'd like to thank Mount Talk for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this adorable toddler bike helmet. They have a few designs to choose from, but we got the monster one for the kids. Mount Talk has helmets for babies and kids up to eight years of age. The back of the helmet also has a space where you can insert a helmet light for additional safety. 
If you are interested in checking out this product, I will go ahead and put the Amazon link in the description box below for your convenience. Again, I'd like to thank Mount Talk for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me keep my kids safe as they play. But that wraps up my little outdoor update. Obviously the kids are allowed and enjoying their time outside. It was pouring yesterday, so this is a pleasant change in weather. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this update. Stay tuned for a party clean with me video that is coming up uh, probably in my next video. If you guys are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.